Welcome to the lab. This is Todd Carmichael and this is La Colombe. And you've seen in other videos we do things with the French press. Uh, either uh, geeking out with the French press, trying to get those nuances that are often found in some of those beautiful, beautiful coffees. Then you saw me foam milk with the French press. That is, make cappuccino milk or latte milk. Today I'm going to use the French press again, but this time I'm going to use it to make cold brew coffee. Are you ready? It's very simple. It's the same process that you use in making hot coffee, but the ratios change just a little bit because I won't be using hot water, I'll be using cold water. The ratio of coffee to water is approximately one to seven. So first we put the coffee in to our French press. Now the water I'm using here is bottled water. If you have really good tap water at home, you can use that. But as you can tell, it's not hot, it's room temperature. And I pour this over the grinds, make sure that I get all the grinds nice and wet. At the end, I have a little habit of taking something and just poking the edges to make sure that everything gets contact with water. Now there's some wives tales around making coffee everywhere. It's the same with cold brew coffee. One of them is you should put this mixture in the refrigerator. Don't. Simply cover it like this and leave it on your counter. If it gets too cold it won't dissolve enough of the coffee and it'll taste well thin. So the next thing we do is we wait about 12 hours, 12 to 13. So you can go to the movies, you can take a long walk, or you can do what I like to do, and that is go to bed. Oh, shit. Oh. There's a couple things to think about when brewing uh, cold coffee. One, you're gonna get a little bit more caffeine than you would in your normal hot coffee. Two, it leaves a lot of the acids behind that normally would hurt your stomach. So in other words, this is a kinder, gentler on your stomach coffee with a lot of caffeine to it. All right, so after 12 hours, what we simply do is plunge it. Slowly move that down, you see how easy it is? Now, try not to store the brewed coffee in the French press. You want some type of container to pour it into. I pick glass. As you can see, the coffee is nice and thick full of flavor. That we put in the refrigerator and this we enjoy. This is so delicious, chocolatey, easy on the stomach, huge amounts of caffeine. It's like a dream come true. Now that is cold brew coffee, the La Colombe way. Enjoy.